Hello everyone, Will Tent here, it's time to talk about the WWE 2K18 and the roster reveal is going to be unveiled in full tomorrow via IGN. But, you know how good I am, we're going to work it out already, so here it goes. Courtesy of the Smackdown Hotel, who, site if you've never been on, is crazy because those guys have been phenomenal for over a decade, just like me. But their website kitted out last year, earlier this year. Looks great. The images they've done has been great for not only 2K18, but for all the previous games and even going really far back as well. Just redoing everything was brilliantly done. So I have cheekily pinched uh, the thumbnails from them because it's the best way to show the scale of the roster in this image. Because there's 132 superstars there. 132 revealed so far by the IGN and other ways such as trailers, pre-order bonuses, etc. And of course there's alternates and modifications such as there's two Kurt Angle uh, versions potentially and there's Diesel and Kevin Nash so that changes the numbers a little bit but around the 132 mark. There is still some from 2K17 that have not been shown off. A few main mentions such as The New Day, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, uh, Stinger, who all should be definitely into the game. We've, I'm surprised Billy Gunn and Road Dogg haven't been announced as well. Granted, Road Dogg's part um, agent, but that's still should be in there. Same for Albert. I would have thought they would have announced him by now. Titus O'Neil surely will be in there. But you can see some trends of tag teams. There's Tyler and Fandango. Uh, Titus O'Neil and Darren Young, technically. Um... So there is trends. Ty Typhoon hasn't been announced, but Earthquake has. It's crazy. But if you include those 41 guys, there's still the active roster that hasn't been unveiled. Like, so 205 Live, uh, Gentleman Jack Gallagher is going to be surely in the game. No one, Dar. Uh, which Ron and Brian Kendrick, certainly. NXT's got uh, Almas, Billy Kay, uh, Alistair Black probably gets unveiled. Drew McIntyre should get announced as well, hopefully. A lot of these could be DLC guys. Alliam, maybe. Same for Mustafa Ali, uh, Grand Matty Leek, and Lindy Dorado. Da -da 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 -da. My mouth has gone funny. Uh, part potential. Not everyone's going to be in the game, but you would think Kurt Hawkins will be back in. Lyle Sampson's been put to the main roster, the other half of Iconic. Uh, Ruby Wright might be just a bit too late. Same for Mandy Rose and Sonia Deville, but you would think Liv Morgan would be in the game. No way Jose's been around for donkeys. The Hardys, I'm going to guess, is DLC. That's my big hunch. Or they could be unveiled in tomorrow's thing under the tag teams as well. Um, Tucker Knight and Otis, uh, maybe they're too soon as well, potentially. But if you went with Active Ross and said all of them, that's another 30. Here's another 8. Uh, you've got Rhino, who with Heath Slater being confirmed is probably a given. The Colognes, no, they are not Lost Matadores. Don't know what you're talking about. The Singh Brothers probably because of Jinder Mahal, even if it's in an NPC capacity. Ellsworth? Surely. Surely we get some no-chin music. The Canelis, uh yeah, probably too early. Probably too late, I should say. Maybe DLC. It's, it's up in the air on that. But that's not even including potential legends as well, which there could be some more legends sneakily unveiled, because you had Rick Martel. So if you go with the roughly 132 unveiled, you add the 41 for 2K17, you add the 38 current superstars that haven't appeared in the game yet, yes or no, potential, you have over 211 superstars. Now I think that figure, once you include DLC, is probably going to be close to that figure. It certainly won't. If it's exactly that figure, boom, I um, forget Mystic Meg, I'm the new king, the new king of um, guessing numbers. But that should be good, it should be good, it should be great. To see, there's a lot of guys I haven't played with in 2K17 that was still playing for the first time yesterday, such as Darren Young, because who forgot about Bob Backlund? He, he could be a legend in the game, who knows? Who do you think has been announced, or unannounced I should say, in the game that should be in the game right now? Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels were given, but there must be a surprising entry or two, so give me your thoughts in this comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more WWE Gaming goodness, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.